electric. Hi everyone, welcome back for another energy related video. Today, I'm gonna to show you this, an all powers S1500 portable battery, portable power station. Um, I've reviewed a couple of these things before from different manufacturers, one from Bluetti and one from EcoFlow. So you might be thinking, you know, why do I keep going back? Why do I keep doing more of these battery reviews? And the reason, the reason for it is, I've been really quite amazed at following these, the technology seems to be moving ahead faster than home storage batteries. So for example, with uh, my Pylon Tech batteries and home storage batteries that I've been considering, the big thing that I've seen change is the depth of discharge. But other than that, the battery stays the same, the price is going up, but not much more is happening with the technology. There are more players coming to the market, but the technology doesn't seem to be advancing so much. These are changing a lot. There's a lot that's coming with new features, with new products, and there's a lot different in this box to the ones that I've tested before. And that's what I wanted to share with you to, I think I'm just fascinated by portable battery storage and how flexible and how good they are to have as an item. Yes, yes, you might sort of think it's a lot more money per kilowatt hour of storage to buy one of these than a, say, a Pylon Tech battery to go on your home storage. But these are all, all in one solution with a charger, with an inverter, they're portable. It's a lot different. Uh, it's a lot different product to um, just a home storage battery like a, a Pylon Tech battery. So I've been fascinated to see what's changing with these. Now take the direct comparison between this, a 1500 watt continuous output device with a kilowatt hour of capacity of battery in there and it's LifePo 4 batteries as well. So now we've got the um, warranty and the cycles that it's warranted to up into the thousands rather than hundreds. Compare that to the EcoFlow Delta Mini that I tested before. It's a 1300 watt continuous output device with, I think it was about 750 watt hours of capacity, something like that. Had less sockets on the front, uh, couldn't charge as well. There were this is just a huge, huge upgrade to that device that I tested, which was you know, a year, two years ago. But the price is identical. The price of this um, is, I think, $1,299 on Amazon, and it's reduced down with a discount code to $999. That's exactly the same price as the Delta Mini that I tested before. So what you can see with a device like this is you're getting more power output. That's an enhancement that's come over time. The cell chemistry inside has changed, so it's more resilient and hence it will warrant and last for longer, which means you can use it for more things. Previously, you might not want to use one of these devices on a daily basis to reduce the cycle count to keep um, the battery in good condition. But now that it's warranted for thousands of cycles, you can add to it daily usage as well as just the ad hoc usage that you might have thought you'd want one of these for before. So the power output's up, the capacity's up. This, like I said, is a kilowatt hour of uh, storage. So that's increased by a third compared to what I had before. So home storage batteries seem to be going up in price and not very far with functionality. Portable power stations, on the other hand, seem to be getting more compact. They seem to be advancing with the chemistry they're using. The power and the charging rates are all improving and the prices, the prices are getting keener. Now, what I really love about these things is there's so many of them. There's so many of these devices available and they're available in different sizes, different formats. And the more money you spend, the more power output like you can have like this one. I mean, they go as high as like three and a half kilowatts of power output, I think. And then you can have um, bolt on spare batteries that um, expand the usage to, well, fr frankly, enough to power your house. So they, they come from really small ones that will just charge your mobile phone and a drone perhaps, just a couple of hundred watts and a few hundred watt hours. But that'll be a nice small compact device that's really easy to carry. You can even put it in a backpack and uh, go out uh, camping with it. But the bigger the power output and the bigger the capacity, the heavier it is. I mean, this one's not light. I'll put the weight on the screen. I can carry it with one hand. I could carry it a while around the house and around the garden, but I wouldn't want to certainly want to go hiking with it. it it's a heavy old beast, but that's because it's got a kilowatt hour of battery. Um, I mean, literally a pylon tech battery that I've installed here, which has three and a half kilowatt hours, takes two people to lift. So it shows the difference that this with a handle is a lot more portable. 
So I'm really excited by home storage batteries and power stations and how the technology and the price per kilowatt hour and all the functionality is just getting better and better. And I really enjoyed having two of these. I enjoyed having one that was higher power so I could use for things like the chainsaw, the um, garden clippers and the lawnmower, all those sort of things. Even cooking with an air fryer, a microwave or um, a hob unit. All of those things are possible on a unit like this. But then I had a much smaller more compact portable unit, which only did about 600 watts of power output. And that was handy for when I wanted just to quickly grab something and take it for a very short term usage. This being a bit bigger device is the sort that you'll use and need as the need arises. When you've got this smaller use, say I just wanted to power um, our internet router for a few hours while the power was going off. I'm unlikely to grab this one from the corner of the room. I'm more likely to grab a little small one. So th there's plenty available and the more money you spend, the more functionality you get, the more capacity of battery you get and the more power output you get. And that's the key thing really, isn't it? Buying one that's appropriate for you. What do you need to use it for? What are you gonna plug in? And how much power output do you need? We always want more, of course, but how much do you need? And what battery capacity do you need as well? The great thing with this though is, <laughs> I'll just lean across. It came with one of these, a portable solar panel. So I'm looking forward to being able to test um, plugging this solar panel into this. So the one kilowatt hour of battery capacity that's in here will be topped up with solar throughout the day if I was outside working, etc. So really looking forward to trying that. It's, um, it's a heavy old solar panel. It's not flexible like a piece of plastic or something. It's a glass panel. It's a very solid, robust thing. And the case, the case is really quality as well. Talking of quality, when I first saw this, I thought it was a bit, a bit utility. I thought um, the S1500 was a bit plain in looking. But now I've got it here and I've had a look at it, it's a really good quality item. What I notice is the plastic case is solid, it's robust, it's easy for cleaning, it's perfect for outdoor usage. The front panel here is completely flush. It's, it's very well designed. I've got four UK power outlets. Let's turn the device on to start with. we have got two LED lights at the side, a nice display panel that displays the battery capacity left and the number of hours of usage, which will adjust according to whatever you plug in. So the more things you have plugged in, the uh, time left for the battery will go down. Very handy feature. Just, it's, it's so simple, I haven't had to read the manual. And this is what I love about these things. You've got an AC and DC button and a Bluetooth button. So you press and hold the Bluetooth button, it gives you a Bluetooth connection. So you can connect your mobile phone to it and view the capacity and change things, turn the lights on and off, the sockets on and off. You can control it using an app with the Bluetooth. AC and DC buttons, well, it turns on the sockets. So if you turn the AC button on, then you'll have the AC sockets available. If you turn on the DC, you'll have the DC sockets. So DC sockets are on this side. So we've got some USB, high powered USB, and some DC output. On the other side for input, we've got the car charger. Nice sound. So we've got the car charging capability. So if you take this out in the car, you can plug it in with a cable here into the car while um, we're driving and it'll charge it back up. So that's excellent. Plus also the input for the solar panels and the input for the three pin charger for from the AC socket from the house. So there's lots of ways of different charging it. And the fact that you can charge any of these things together is absolutely excellent. So I can have the solar panels and the grid connected. So I can be charging from the grid and I can be charging from solar panel as well. So the more power you can connect to it, the more you can charge up. There's obviously a limit as to how much this will charge at once. Um, I've seen charging from the AC connector, it charges at 300 watts, which is pretty quick. I'm very, very happy with that, considering it's only a one kilowatt hour battery, 300 watts of power coming in is pretty good. 
Lots of um, holes in the casing here for um, air ventilation. So there is a fan that comes on. I've been really happy that it starts off absolutely silent and then only as it warms up, the fan comes on. And the fan isn't as noisy as some of the other batteries. So it's, it's a nice quality item. What I like on the back, absolutely nothing. So it's very well organized. It's all your power usage on the front, inputs on the side, and DC outputs on the other side. So it's well organized. You know where everything is. It's extremely simple to use. But then the big thing that I really like about it, the handle. It's nice and centrally placed. It's well weighted. It's easy to pick up and use. So the handle position seems like something obvious, but when I tested the Bluetti device, I was quite surprised that because of its great handle, I used it more than picking up the EcoFlow. This is exactly the same. It's got a really good handle position. It's nice and solid, it's easy, and it's got a lovely click to it as you put the handle down. So it's got this um, orange rubber piece in, which basically contracts as you push in and keeps it there, so it's not, not rattling. Nice design. Sometimes you think about brands that you haven't heard of before. I hadn't heard of All Powers, and you think, oh, it's gonna be a cheap Chinese brand. I've been really, really surprised. This is not a cheap piece of kit. Um, it seems to be really well made and really well designed. Everything looks robust, and I'm really, really liking that. So, what am I going to use it for? What am I going to use this battery for and what could you use it for? Well, for me, I'm looking for a power source for my workshop, my studio, my outside room that I'm going to be building later this year. So, the concept of having 1500 watts of power and a kilowatt hour of power, powering effectively a shed, is plenty for me. And the solar panel as well. So I'm hoping to be able to install that in a semi-permanent position so I can just drop the panel on and connect it anytime that I'm out there. That will give me even more capacity. So for me, powering an outside room. This also is great for powering um, things on the go. So if I'm out in the car and we're going to say a dog show, um, an outside event, whether it be a barbecue, whether it be, um, I don't know, a bring and buy sale out on uh, a park field, then I can have the power source, I can have the solar panel, I can be powered the whole day. And it just means you can take your creature comforts with you. So for me, taking a proper coffee maker is quite a big thing. It transforms from having you know, an instant flask of coffee, which is nowhere near as good as making fresh coffee yourself. Making a bacon sandwich in the morning, having a hob with a frying pan that you can just cook your bacon on, even an air fryer, that's worked really well as well for cooking things like sausages and bacon and reheating sausage rolls. So it transforms your experience of when you're out and you're having to take like um, a picnic lunch, which is cold, suddenly you can have properly cooked, nice and hot food. And on a cold day in the winter especially, that's pretty essential, being able to heat things up. Even if it's just something like soup you're heating up, you can have it absolutely fresh. And uh, that's where these things benefit. It's, it's not necessarily a cost justifier. I don't think you'll be able to look at it and say, how much money does it cost? And then how much money can I save using it? But it's convenience. It's adding to the quality of, of your life. The more things I find I'm doing all the time, I think I just need a power source remotely and I've got it and I can take it with me. And what I noticed the other day, we went to a dog show with Susan and Cracker, and surprisingly, there were more and more people with these things. And although they're dog fans, we stood there talking and comparing specs of batteries. They're becoming more popular. People are starting to realize the flexibility of these things. I mean, who wanted to take a diesel generator or a petrol generator before and um, have the stink of pouring the petrol or diesel in and then having to pull the cord and, uh, start the engine and have the noise of it. These are completely silent. There's no emissions, there's no smell. They're much more compact, just a lot more sensible. So if it's anything from powering your router, because you're about to have a power cut, powering a fridge at home, powering something at the end of your garden that you don't have an extension lead for, in your RV, a boat, going camping, you name it, there's so many uses for these things. They're a great thing to have. Uh, what, what did my dad used to say to me years ago? He said, you know, you, you buy a tool when you need it for the job, but then you've always got that tool available for the next time you use it, which might not be very often, but you've always got it. This is what I think um, when I think these portable battery stations. It's a tool, it's a facility for usage as and when I need it. And to have one 
is a great thing. So I really am a fan of these things and uh, thank you all powers for sending me this one over to try. I've been absolutely blown away by it. Um, I was not expecting it to be as good as it is. It's a very robust, very capable system, a kilowatt hour of storage. And I was thinking the other day, what I could do is plug this into the power outlet so it's powered from the mains with a smart socket so it's on time. So it will only charge up from solar during the solar hours of the day and uh, won't charge up overnight. So I'm not actually paying to charge this thing up. And then I can turn the power outlet off overnight and this can provide the power. So say for a fridge outside, I could power the fridge from this continuously, then recharge it during the day on solar power. And basically this would be a one kilowatt hour addition to my home storage battery system. Um, and that is cheaper. So to buy a extension to my home storage battery solution would be about 15 to 1600 pounds for the battery. Yes, it's bigger, it's more capacity, but it still costs 15 to 1600 pounds. Then I've got to have it installed as well. This, I can do it all myself. It's less than the 1500 pounds. Um, this was 1299, less than 300 discount, 999, just under a thousand pounds. And it's a kilowatt hour, it's an extension of my home storage battery. So I could do that as well. I could use this regularly to power something overnight to add capacity to my home storage battery. So if you've bought a home storage battery and you're just a little bit shy of where you need to be, you wish you could get one more kilowatt hour and they only come in five kilowatt hour steps, maybe, maybe a portable power station like this is just what you need. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you are thinking the same as me on how enthusiastic I am about having more lithium batteries in your life, more power, more capacity, more functionality. I absolutely love this stuff and I can't wait to take this out on the road and try it with the solar panel. So I'll include that in the video in a minute um, when I get it all plugged in and try it outside to see how much solar I can get from a portable solar panel. Can I move it and angle it and get the maximum out of it? I think that's a 200 watt solar panel. So uh, I'll be interested to see how much I can get from it on a dull moment, on a really sunny day, and how sensitive the positioning is to get the maximum power from it. So I can't wait to try that as well. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Take care, see you again soon for more videos. Bye for now.